Hey, Viking fans, there was a Dalton Reisner sighting, and we're going to talk about it next in three, two, one. <laughs> Gather around, school brothers and sisters. This is School World, brought to you by Minnesota Sports Talk. I'm your host, Dave. You can follow me on Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook at School World, and I believe Instagram and MN Sports Podcast. Do me a favor and Hulk smash the YouTube algorithms by Hulk smashing the like button and go to subscribe. Make sure you. Turn on those notifications by ringing that bell. Let's go. Let's go. All right, Viking fans. I saw something happen. Unfortunately, Ezra Cleveland went down. He did have one really bad play in the game that actually caused the interception class slash fumble, but turning over nonetheless. Cousins didn't get, uh, it didn't count as an interception, it counted as a fumble for some reason. Uh, I don't know the. I didn't look at the play close enough, but it don't matter. It was a turnover, and that yeah, that was on Ezra Cleveland. But he got hurt. He's been playing pretty good this year. Dalton Reisner came in and showed us what he was capable of. PFF didn't give him a good grade, but I watched every play, and someone on Twitter thankfully put out a video of Reisner's plays, and we're going to take a look at him. Okay? Uh, so let's... Let's just dive right into it. Let's uh let's bring up Reisner. And here we go. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm bringing up I'm going to bring up Reisner here. Let's pause that. Okay. This is going to be every single play. I'm going to make it bigger. All right. So, he's the left guard, okay? Left guard. That's the first example of pass blocking. You can see my mouse. I'm circling him over here. Actually knocked his guy way out of the play. Way out of the play. Kirk Cousins got a clean pocket. Unfortunately, everybody's covered. Nobody's on that. He, he goes to the backside. There's nobody open. Okay, here's the next play. I think this one's actually kind of bad, but we'll I'll, I'll point out what why, why it was bad. Here we go. Okay, here's Reisner. Guy's not even coming close to his man. Everybody's blocked. Who's blocking 49? We're double teaming a stunt. Who's not blocking this dude? Okay, now, unfortunately, unfortunately, um, yeah, he comes free. Let's watch the rest of this play. Then CJ Ham, um, let's go his block. This guy's coming right in his face. Now, what's bad about this play is normally Kirk Cousins has a, a the fortitude to stick in and take the hit. He is just gonna ground this. CJ Ham is in the area, and they call intentional grounding. But you'll see TJ Hawkinson coming wide open. Right here. This guy is wide open, even farther down the field. This is CJ Ham. This is the ball. They call this intentional grounding. This is stupid. But normally, Kirk takes a hit and delivers the ball with anticipation. TJ Hawkinson's wide open. And I'm pretty sure he's seeing that in the film room. At the point of where that guy's in his face, though, right here, this guy's coming. Kirk sees him dead to right. TJ Hawkinson still covered. But you got to know that the break's coming, release the ball. He's not even looking down the field. Um, so, yeah, this this is probably the one bad play uh, I could say that that I know of that out, outside of the pitch back to Cam Akers that TJ, he did not throw this ball. With and you know he he grounded the ball instead of knowing where TJ was going to be. This is wide open. Okay, but Reisner is what we're talking about here, and boom, he takes his guy out of the play. Not even close. 
Okay, so A plus there. Okay, let's go to the next play. I did not notice where what twenty two was doing. Maybe he's dropping back, and um, so maybe that's the saving grace for Kirk Cousins right there. But here we go. Boom. Just this is that here one hand on the guy. This is that that um, independent hand thing I was talking about. He's got his right hand on the ball or on the on the man on his right shoulder. The guy's going to chop, try to chop him down. He's got that hand out here waiting for it to happen. OK, this is his independent hands. Um, nobody else blocks that way on our line. Yep. Boom. Was able to recover with his right arm. And he put his left hand on the guy's shoulder. Boom. Brings the right arm. This is Dalton Reisner's superpower. And he does it amazingly. Look, he did it again. He pulls his right arm off. The guy's going to his left. He's waiting for it to get chopped. Dalton Reisner is amazing. I'm sorry. PFF, you suck on Dalton Reisner anyways. But here's a you know, wide ass open or nobody's nobody's open. This uh, safety is looking to hit our dude here. Yeah. But Reisner um, blocked like a champ. Here we go again. Dalton Reisner over here. Blocking this man outside. They're trying to stunt. Not even close. Not even close. We pick it up. And this is a, one of those dump off plays we complained about that got 15 yards. All right. That one worked because Madison caught it. He dropped two of those. Okay. So that, that one was an easy play by Dalton Reisner. Okay. Now, keep in mind, he's in there when we're running out the game. Okay, here's Dalton Reisner. Boom. He just he just shove blocked that dude, and now is in the second level. I I said about this guy, this guy can get to the second level, and he shows freaking effort. Okay. Let's see what happens here. I don't even I don't even remember this play. So got to the second level to make a block. 49. He can't block both of them, but he got one of them. And he keeps going. He got down there. Let's watch that again. Let's watch that again. Here we go. Second level bounces off. Okay. Yeah. He made the block. His guy can make that play. He took him out of the play. That's all you got to that's all you got to know about that. That's 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 a good chunky yardage right there. Good chunky yardage. Let's go on to the next play. All right, nobody on him. Nobody on him. Let's see what he does. I believe he's going to, my guess is he's going to help block 97 and get to the second level. Oh, does it? Oh, it's the same play. It's the same play. <laughs> Different results, but does the same exact thing, helps the dude, gets to the second level. Amazing. Boom. All right, he goes to think about helping out, but he wants to get quicker. They're running the same defense on every play, it almost looks like. Gets to the second level, blocks his dude. Now, this one, he may he may have... Let me get to it really quick. In 50 set, well, he's got to choose one. He's got to choose one. CJ, he chooses his guy. CJ Ham gets 57. And uh, CJ Ham gets beat. He gets pulverized. He gets pulverized in the play. His right now is looking up at the sky. But Reisner's guy is blocked. All right. Oh, no. I, I lied. Let me look at this. I, I apologize. It looked like he was looking up at the sky. All right. Here we go. Watch this. Yeah, right there, I thought. I thought he was getting smoked, but CJ Ham got the better of him. Oh, he's tackling the guy. That's what happened. So he, yeah, see CJ Ham got beat on the play. He's moving back because he's tackling the running back. So CJ Ham not so good on that play, but Reisner looked awesome. Here's another play. Here we go. Boom. Hits his dude. That's is that Bradbury's not taking advantage of it so 
Reisner helps Bradbury out, and then he beats Bradbury. But anyways, who who makes the bad who makes the bad play at? The, oh, at ninety three, right up the middle, right up the middle. Okay, let's watch this again. Just nobody to just I don't know what the blocking scheme was on this. I do not know what the blocking scheme was on this. Ninety three. Oh, whiff. Ed Ingram. Ed Ingram completely whiffs. Ed Ingram completely whiffs. Play gets blown up. Ed Ingram had two plays, counting this one, where he just completely whiffs. All right. That was just bad. Reisner did his job, though. All right. This is a reach block. Let's watch him reach here. Okay. Here we go. So this is him. He's got to beat his man and turn him inside. And he holds on to him long enough where his guy's just not going to get there. And great blocking on that play. We got some yardage. Good job. Okay. So that was Dalton Reisner, man. That's Dalton Reisner. Now, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Give me a comment. Tell me what you thought of Dalton Reisner. You're going to be entered in to win the grand prize of Justin Jefferson autographed jersey. All you have to do is leave me a comment. Tell me how you thought Reisner played. But there were other sightings in this game. Again, giving away uh, an entry. Every time you comment down below an entry of what you think Dal Dalton Reisner, you can give me a score prediction. You can give me a hashtag score. I don't care. Go down and comment. You're going to be entered to win. All you have to do. All you have to do is be subscribed to three channels. M Minnesota Sports Talk, that's my channel, Purple and Gold for Days, GG Sports Podcast. Okay, Purple and Gold for Days, GG Sports Podcast, and my channel. All right, and I'll leave those up there. Okay, now we had other sightings. We had other sightings, okay? I'm going to talk about them. I'm going to bring up the snap counts of every player. Every player. Okay, we apparently had 57 offensive snaps. Not a whole lot. We need more of these. We need 65, 70 snaps. I want this offense should be prolific. All right, right tackle, maybe even 80. I don't know. Right tackle, Ed Ingram. So Ed Ingram, yeah, all 57. Derrissaw, Garrett Bradbury, KJ Osborne, 53. Uh, Jordan Addison, 49. Okay, so he was in there 49 plays. That's his that's his most he's been in. So that's good. Cleveland went down. Alexander Madison, 45. Holy crap. Um, yeah, you're you're he's a starting running back, but if you want to go all the way down here to Cam Akers with nine, okay. That should be split. That should be split. Honest to God. Brandon Powell. 34. Uh, I think, honestly, Jalen Reger is a better receiver than him. I'm going to say it. Jalen Reger has uh, better hands than Brandon Powell. And uh, Brandon Powell has just straight line speed. Isn't that shifty? Uh, but Reger can, uh, can make somebody miss. So I almost miss Reger in this situation. But Brandon Powell is such a better punt returner. I that's why we keep Powell. Josh Oliver, they're raving about his is a play, but he um, gave up two big blocks. Now he has great blocks. Then he he completely whiffed on one, two if you count the the field uh, the extra point block. That was his man. C.J. Ham, sixteen count uh, plays. I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. Dalton Reisner, ten plays looked absolutely magnificent. Awesome. Johnny Munt, seven. Didn't even notice him, but hey, he got in there. Tristan Jackson, four. Nikhil Harry, one. I think that's all on special teams, though. All right. I thought we'd see more of them, but we don't have enough plays to go around because we're not aggressive enough. Now on defense, so the, those were the sighting. That was Dalton Reisner on offense is really the big sighting. And then the comparison of Cam Akers and Alexander Madison is just – not as sustainable. You gotta, you gotta put Cam Akers in there, man. He's explosive. Cameron Bynum, 
uh awesome harrison smith awesome hicks awesome as usual murphy i don't know i think he went out for a play apparently metellus you know um couple plays where he wasn't needed because we're really going big nickel all the time uh daniel hunter obviously played awesome harrison phillips low-key awesome man he played awesome a uh, caleb evans now here's what i want to talk about uh, caleb evans at 50 snaps he wasn't out there he's our number two cornerback the reason why he wasn't out there because we were lighting a fire under his ass with andrew booth jr and if you notice 26 snaps compared to one with Makai Blackman. So apparently Andrew Booth Jr. is moving up the depth chart and Blackman is moving down. I want to know why. Okay, he played, so it was an injury. Unless it was unless he got hurt on that play, I don't know. But Andrew Booth Jr. came in for 26 snaps, so that was game plan. He wasn't even in there for the whole a whole series, it seemed. He was getting taken out. Evans was coming back in. Evans played great. Booth played the only, there was only, there was a couple plays he was involved in a seven yard pass for a first down. And then he had an awesome tackle where he had to come up off his guy to make the tackle. And he just upended the dude. He can tackle. That's the one great thing about Andrew Jr. He's aggressive and he's a good open field tackler. But Evans played great for, I think, his first game of like, I can say, hey, that dude can play. And I think it has a lot to do with Brian Flores saying, hey, let's get him in there. DJ Wanham played um, probably his best game. Jonathan Bullard, Pat Jones made a pretty good play. Tonga got in the game 30 snaps. Finally, we're starting to just add these dudes in the game. Adding dudes in the game. That's great. Dean Lowry got his production cut back. And we know why. Because he's not showing anything. So great job, finally. Brian Flores mixing it up, putting a fire under these guys. And what happens, Bears come in with 60, um, come in with 68 points in the last two games. You, you got Justin Fields throwing for 600 yards and eight touchdowns with only one pick, and you hold him to 50-some yards before he gets hurt in the third quarter, but he was doing nothing offensively against us, except for a couple uh, decent runs. So you're telling me that you finally start playing other players, lighting the fire under these dudes or giving them rest, whatever. And you got all these guys playing at a high level. Now Ivan Pace Jr. 12 plays, Brian Osimo was seven. They had one tackle combined. Okay. Asamoa looked a lot like he was just getting washed out. Pace Jr. had one big play. Um, people were complaining about pass interference on it, but honestly, he went for the ball. There was contact, but he was definitely going for the ball. I think they let that go because he gets around the guy, hits the ball down well before it gets to the guy's body. So I I unfairly complained about these two dudes. They they missed some tackles. Ivan Pace and Asamoah awesome missed some tackles. So maybe I didn't unfairly, but if I, I was to say unfairly is that they didn't have a whole lot of snaps. So why are they losing time? I don't know. I think it's because we went big nickel on these dudes and played a lot of safety. We played a lot of safety. And, you know, Theo Jackson got three plays, one, one with Blackman. I don't – it must have been special teams. I don't know. No, I think these count defense and offensive snaps, not special teams. So that's probably what it was. I don't know. But anyways, that the the big thing about that I'm taking out of it is that that um Cameron that Dalton got his time in. He looked great. Cam Akers needs more snaps. And we really mix it up defensively on personnel where we played a lot of dudes and the starters played a lot better. You know what I'm saying? Or guys like Lauer are getting replaced, basically. He's losing time. And I was a big advocate for him just because the way he played two years ago was amazing. Huge highlight tape of Dean Lowry just dominant, you know, pushing pockets. Not so much this year. He needs he he gets replaced. We got more Tonga in there. We got more Bullard in there. 
needs to happen. You need keep them fresh. There you go. Keep them fresh. You know, mix those guys in. If the one guy's not dominating, mix them in there. And uh, shout to Brian Flores. These guys were coming in big time with, you know, 600 yards passing and eight touchdowns by Justin Fields, of all people, holding the 56 yards. And then, you know, they're scoring 68 points the last two games, 13. Great job by Brian Flores. Awesome job using your using everybody in this game, lighting a fire under everybody. Make sure, guys, you uh, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think below. We got, I'm giving away an entry for every comment and, and below. Make sure you do it. I'm I'm going to give this Justin Jefferson jersey away to a YouTube subscriber. I want it to happen. The more people on YouTube do uh, following my contest, uh, doing this contest, make sure you're purple and gold for days. GG Sports Podcast, Minnesota Sports Talk. Thank you.